Welcome everybody, it's been a while since I've posted a new YouTube video, so today we are going to learn how we can design this album artwork, this interesting gradient grainy album artwork. It's like really easy to, to design, you only need some textures, which I will provide of course in the description of this video, be sure to check it out. You will find the project download link, click on it, download it, you'll also have the resources that I've used in this project so you can use them yeah without further ado let's jump right in and deconstruct this whole artwork step by step so you can learn how you can achieve this final result okay let me just deactivate all the layers and we're going to start with the beginning with a purple background on which I've applied a noise effect, filter noise, add noise, 25% but I won't apply it again because it will get like really really noisy so you get the values of 25%, you, you use the values of 25% Gaussian on distributions on distribution and be sure to check monochromatic preview on click OK and you will have something like this and then you'll have the resource the texture with the extra veld image is all it's a image that I found on the internet and now I have saw a bit of textures which I don't want on it I will get my eraser tour with my eraser tool with a hardness of 100% zoom right in and just change the size of the eraser tool by using the square brackets the left square bracket and delete this but you won't have it because I will delete it and I will update the project file so yeah you have the extra veld image and then on uh, the color options the options the blending options you'll you will choose color dodge and then duplicate it using ctrl j on the keyboard or command j on the mac and then the next one will be on screen opacity 100 percent on both and now you will uh, need to apply a texture that and if you don't have this texture no problem i got you covered in this video description as well you will find the texture pack download link click on it download it and you'll automatically have the textures you only need to update your texture uh, location and link it to this one now you go on uh, color options on blend blending no color options and uh, choose screen opacity 100 percent and the next step that you need to do is to create a color balance layer go on this half circle I don't know how it's the name I don't know the name of it so and then go let me find color balance click on color balance let me just show you the values so you have to get preserve luminosity ticked checked and then zero red zero blue and minus 42 on green and magenta the next one is vibrance the vibrance is minus 9 and the saturation is plus 100 now some textures let me just okay so you'll have the res restricted under 17 requires stuff like that texture screen opacity 100% the next one will be the enable logo and the next one between oh the BPM I forgot about the BPM yeah the BPM logo which you will also have in the texture pack that I provided to you in the description of this video check it out download it and if you enjoy the content that I'm doing and the free resources that I'm giving you please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel if you haven't yet because most of you guys that are watching like 80% of you guys are not subscribed to my channel and it really helps me if you subscribe and you if, if you like the video as well so yeah thank you and uh, let's get back layer 6 is the grain the brush layer as I have like my technique my secret technique of course it's not secret because I've learned about it from Bogasm so you get a, basically a white brush with size 1 pixel and then you paint like this and then you only have to 
maybe change the opacity of the layer so it will be not so we will it won't be so disturbing to the eye but I'll most of the time use 65 percent or 70 and then maybe twist it a bit so it will have like scratches on it I don't think you can see it like really proper on the video but if you download the PSD file which will be in the description of this video you will definitely see the layer with the scratches and you'll be able to see the difference okay next one is another image which I found on tumblr and are like star it's like a starscape starscape stars I don't know and I've like resized it a bit and then put it on color dodge opacity maybe 50 because I don't like numbers that are not even okay so next another texture another like graffiti can uh, splash I think it's called splash I don't know uh, it will be on normal 100% another texture because I love to use textures like images on top of another images on top of another image and so on and so forth which will be on lighten opacity 50 or 45% it depends on your own preference now the text September 2021 at Bergein the font I've used is accident grotesque extended but I will group them and <clears throat> like rasterize the layer because if you don't have the 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 this font it won't you won't be able to use it so the font uh, layers will be grouped and then I will create a duplicate and then just rasterize the duplicate so you'll be able to use I will leave the the original fonts as well if you have them you can use them and you can edit them okay next step creating the noise layer so how we how do we create a noise layer a noise layer it's really easy go to the color picker picker and then create a choose a gray value alt backspace to to like use it let me create a new layer alt backspace to fill the document with a gray go to filter noise add noise 25% Gaussian monochromatic okay and then the opacity you will scale down to 10 or maybe 15 or 20 I don't know let's see 20 yeah 20 it's on this one so you automatically have like a really noisy like really grainy document like cover that I really like to use this effect and in the end we have like our gradient which is on hue at 75% maybe you can scale it a bit if you want to to have more blue or more green I don't know it's like personal preference and then maybe we can scale down the opacity to 65% and play a bit with these values with the layers options yeah until you find your like favorite and like this is really it this is it guys it's like really simple to use and really simple to create to understand if you like this video like this tutorial be sure to like the video subscribe to my channel and check the description for the resource files yeah guys thank you for watching thank you for sticking until the end of this video i'll see you guys in the next one and have a great day be sure to stay safe and wear a mask bye bye